wanted to talk to you a little bit about Baker cyst. Um, people who've had one know what it is. People who have not may not have heard of it. A Baker cyst is when a lump or a fluid collection forms behind the knee. Uh, what it usually means is something's going on in the knee joint itself. It's inflammation. If you've ever banged your elbow or your wrist, you notice it'll swell up sometimes. That's inflammatory fluid. Well, in the knee, you could get some fluid behind the kneecap. It can feel tender and kind of creak a little bit. But a lot of times, the back of the knee, the, the knee communicates to the back of the joint. They call that little area the popliteal fossa. And there's a tiny little track, almost like the tributary to a river, that will connect with there. And what people will often get is this kind of semi-collapsible knot. And when you try to flex your leg back like this, it'll feel like someone's put a stone back there. They can be really big or really small, but they're almost always uncomfortable. So some people ask us to drain the Baker cyst, which we can do. Um, you definitely want to address what's wrong with the knee, but from a comfort standpoint, getting rid of that Baker cyst sure feels good. Very simply, you lay on your stomach, we prep the area with a little cleaning medication like chlorhexidine or um, alcohol or betadine. You grab your ultrasound probe and you find that cyst and it's very, very easy to see. It looks like a big black lake over the muscles. You numb the area up extremely well and once you're numb, you take a large bore needle, this is why we numb you, put that in there and just under ultrasound guidance, so you never lose track of where the needle is, you just aspirate it and pull it out. Um, I've gotten as little as two or three milliliters. I've gotten as many as 15 milliliters out of somebody uh, doing that. Uh, the results are immediate and people feel better very, very quickly. At that point, when the comfort's better, we can address other issues going on with the knee and how we can try to do some things to make sure that cyst doesn't keep reoccurring.